So continuing our educational journey here at the Global Health Exhibition, we're going to be learning a little bit more about the Centre of Genomic Medicine right here at the King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Centre. And we're very kindly joined by the Executive Director of that division. It is Dr. Salah, thank you for joining us. Thank you for um, elaborating a little bit more on this centre. Can you talk to us about what, what are you showcasing here at the Global Health Ex Exhibition? Thank you very much. It's a pleasure, really. Uh, uh, the Center of Genomic Medicine King Faisal has actually established this center in about two and a half years ago only. But it comes out of a legacy of 40 years of uh, innovation, research, syndromes, etc. And all of that came to that fruit where all of these uh, ex uh, extensive genomic testing labs have been converted and localized in King Faisal to become uh, one of the uh, national not only that, but uh, patient care and clinical services for patients with genomic disorders and to serve patients with cancer, patients with OTC, organ transplant, patients with heart and neurosciences. We try to deliver precision medicine. We try to also work on preventive programs and personalized medicine. Uh, today, we exhibit pharmacogenomics as one of our top-notch uh, integrated interface where patients would have their pharmacogenome profile before prescribing the medication, so you would personalize the medical care or the medication to the patient's genomic profile. And that service this year launched to the heart center population and will extend hopefully the next few years to the entire hospital population. In addition to that, the NIPT test, where we can test uh, pregnant ladies from a blood sample and we can understand the genomic profile of a child or the fetus if he carries any rare inherited disorder. The liquid biopsy is another free cell test where you can again obtain a simple sample of the blood where it has the juice of the cancer. You can use that tool as a predictive tool to understand if the cancer is to recur. Six to nine months up front before the recurrence and you predict it early and you intervene accordingly. In more programs, the antenatal prevention program, again, we work with our colleagues in ob and genetics to work together on VGD as well as it's called secondary and tertiary prevention of rare inherited disorders are being delivered. The cost burden of such uh, rare inherited disorders when they're delivered uh, is extensive to the health system. Uh, it costs somewhere between one and a five to five million US dollars over their lifespan. And we have hundreds of these children born here and these can be prevented by simple premarital testing, counseling, or uh, early diagnosis from uh, early uh, pregnancy uh, stages where you can offer that, or even at the pre-implementation of a fetus. So all of these programs are currently available now in central genomics, not to mention the whole genome sequencing. This is the top notch at the end of the game for genomic testing where you can profile and understand the entire genomic code of an individual. We not only offer that at the clinical base, but we offer the rapid genome testing. Within 30 hours, we can obtain the whole genome sequencing of a patient in acute settings uh, for specific indications. And all of these run for clinical use in a capital lab. So I'm so happy, actually, to host you over more and more of our innovations and our services to help patients towards prevention medicine and towards prevent. Uh, personalized medicine as well. Uh, so thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. My pleasure. Thank you very much.